Hello children. I am Sister Catherine and I was born in Italy so if you hear an accent this is an Italian accent and I am here to tell you a story but also that Pope Francis has declared the month of October an extraordinary month for the missions and we know that there are missionaries who go to foreign lands to bring the good news of Jesus to those who have not as yet heard about Jesus. And the story I want to tell you is the story of one of our sisters who went to far, far away land, actually in the jungle of Ecuador. She left her native land, Italy, and when she was 40 years of age, she traveled to Ecuador. So she had a big job to do. When she arrived there, she and three other sisters with a priest who was a Salesian priest, and they traveled on foot for many, many days under the rain, the cold, and sometimes heat that was unbearable. After so many days, the chief with his people came out to meet the missionaries. Unfortunately, the daughter of the chief had been shot and she was dying. So the chief said to the sisters, you must cure my child. If you don't, you cannot be here. You must go back. So they looked at each other. They did not know what to do. Sister Maria, during the war, World War II, had been in the hospital caring for wounded soldiers. So she knew a little of nursing. So, since they all looked at her and motioned to her to do something, Sister Maria quickly took out of her pocket a little penknife. She relied on the powerful help of the Blessed Mother, the help of Christians. And she prayed, begging her, please, Mary, you have to cure this little girl. As soon as the penknife touched the bullet, the bullet jumped out and Sister Maria was able to close the wound. In early morning, the little girl woke up and there was the miracle. She was happy. She had no pain. Sister Maria gave her breakfast. Now this is a miracle. It cannot be explained in any other way. It's a miracle that was obtained from the Blessed Mother through the prayers of Sister Maria. And so this teaches us, dear boys and girls, that the Blessed Mother is a powerful mother, a loving mother, and we too can pray to her with faith, with love. We should trust her all the way so that the Blessed Mother can perform miracles for us, as she did for Sister Maria. Don Bosco said many, many times, pray to Mary, have trust in Mary, and you will see miracles. God bless you.